Are you getting proper support for your bones and muscles? Hello everyone, if you are new to this channel, I'm Dr. Boris Nektalov, chiropractic and enzyme nutrition specialist. We cover content on full body adjustments, spinal decompression and enzyme nutrition. If you like what you see, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more and don't forget to drop a comment down below. Now back to the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is made up of the bones, muscles, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, joints and other connective tissues. Primary contribution of the musculoskeletal system to healthy function of the body is to provide stable support and movement. Nutrient deficiency in the musculoskeletal system can result in one or more of the following symptoms. Muscular weakness and or atrophy, chronic muscle soreness and discomfort resulting from exercise, loss of range of motion, discomfort when stretching, deep bone pain or joint pain, bone disorders, spurs, osteopenia and osteoporosis, loose teeth, hyper irritability or restless leg at night, low back discomfort, weak joints or ligaments and spinal disc problems. Dear viewers, this is very important. For unresolved, severe or sudden onset of symptoms, please seek for medical attention. So why do you need adequate musculoskeletal support? When we think of musculoskeletal system and how it fits into our homeostasis or healthy function of the body, it is obvious that it provides the movement that the body needs to obtain the food required for nutrition. In addition, it allows us to stand erect and do all things we love under influence of gravity. However, musculoskeletal system also has the following vital function. Supporting the surrounding tissues, protecting the soft tissue of the body and vital organs that maintains homeostasis. Assisting the movement of the body by allowing muscles to have leverage. Manufacturing blood cells in the red bone marrow acting as a storage area for the mineral salts like phosphorus and calcium. These are used to supplement what is needed to maintain homeostasis when the body is not receiving adequate amount from the diet. How does diet affect healthy function of the musculoskeletal system? Here are a few foods that will improve musculoskeletal health. Foods high in calcium are dairy products like milk and cheese, green leafy vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage and okra, tofu, nuts and sardines. Foods high in vitamin D are red meat and liver, egg yolk, oily fish like salmon, sardines, herring and mackerel. Foods high in proteins are fish like cod, salmon, sardines and herring, meats like chicken, turkey, beef and lamb. To support healthy function of the musculoskeletal system, you must keep in mind that macronutrients such as carbohydrates, fats and proteins are necessary for energy production. Protein, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, sulfur and vitamin A, C and D are building blocks for healthy function and structure. But you still need enzymes to do the work in our body to make use of building blocks. Whether you are eating in or dining out, it is always best to choose foods that provide healthy macronutrients which are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. It is also important to eat raw organic foods that are not only rich in macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins and minerals but also high in enzymes to digest them. Your food choices each day affect your health. How you feel today, tomorrow and in the future will depend what action steps you will take today. Good nutrition is also an important part of leading a healthy lifestyle. Combined with physical activities, proper diet with enzymes can help you reach and maintain healthy weight, reduce risk of chronic diseases and promote overall health. Today, not only I challenge you to reach out to your local digestive enzyme specialist doctor and ask to be evaluated and see how plant enzymes can help you achieve healthy gut but also practice better food choices, cutting off simple carbohydrates, drink more water, reduce caffeine and sugary drinks, eat 80% of each portion of your meal. A habit takes 21 days to change. If you stick with it for 3 weeks, you will see wonders it could do for you and your health. I hope you found this information interesting and useful. 
please subscribe for more, hit like and ask any questions in the comments. Till next time with more amazing information.